it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. A near perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John, line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Dana White. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Giant! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your prayer. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. What a punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And
And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, Jesus. UFC President Dana White gets hit with a kick. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. And he connects there with a punch. So pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Flips the punch. Under a minute now to go. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Good jab. Just missed with the left there. Punch is blocked. Jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense to jab and stop him in his tracks, he's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight. You see, it's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp, and not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Round two next. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And they separate. Good stick. Nice 
nice work there by Dana White. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, trying to pass here. As Grover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. A nice punch there by Dana White. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Dana White's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Takedown. Tries to work it into a takedown. Kick right under that right elbow. Big off punch land. Now we get back to range. Back and forth we go. Nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Dana White gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, send a power tie now. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Takedown defense holds up. Blocks the shot. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Great punch landed with so much power. Dana White's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Seconds. Come on, man. Let's UFC President Dana White's kick blocked. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And there comes the separation now. Oh, a huge shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, straight right. UFC President Dana White gets the tie clinch here. And that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Ooh, what a punch. Big right hand. Try to establish that jab. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by UFC President Dana White. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, uppercut lands. Superman punch, not always easy to execute. He did so there. Single collar tie now, and both guys really flowing with authority. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round. And hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his weight. Oh, 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 shot there on the inside. He's hooked out. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Oh, flush knee to the back. Wow. Oh, he got it back. He's got it right here. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Dana White. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. My triangle, my triangle. Position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Sit down. Sit down. Looking good. We got one more round. I need you to... Are you ready? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Under three minutes remain in this fifth round of this championship. Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Dana White's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes of your opponent. Dana White gets caught with that punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. 
but at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. So watch the ability to land from anywhere. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots get blocked. They're getting blocked because they're fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, less than a minute to go in round five. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body, that nasty. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Seconds left. Oh, collar tie. Oh! of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you to UFC President Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number five. To play the winner by knockout, the giant! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver 